Hey guys, it's Cine Chan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So glad to have you here. Today we're gonna be doing Fragile, a song from Project Sekai with two of its members, Akito and Toya. Hopefully you all enjoy. This is a first on my channel since I think all the songs I've done have been either Go Choreo like Go Group Choreo or Solo Go Choreo like Hatsune Miku although Hatsune Miku is still hot on there so this will be a different vibe since it's like a lot of fast hidden moves like I'm still cleaning stuff around it but I'm hoping you all enjoy but let me stop rambling on and let's get into this so for this tutorial since there's two people I'm going to follow Akito for most of it, so this will be part one and it will be a part two. So I'm going to be following and explaining Akito's moves. What I'll try to do is if Toya, like you're learning Toya's moves, if he's doing something different, I'll try having something around to just say, okay, this is whatever moves I'm doing. It's mirrored for Toya or non-mirrored for Toya, or if Toya's not doing the moves, you shouldn't see anything on there but yeah i'll try to like, do that since it will be important for the second part and then a bit of the first part okay but yeah let's just jump into it so if you're actually you're lucky you can just follow me and then the first verse just go and take your poses in here but they all start this way akito is down here he is leaning down no facing down so he's like his legs are bent on here and he's looking down and he has his right hand on his right leg. Meanwhile, I think Toy is just like back here, just like, like a stick figure on here. Yeah, I think, I don't know what angle exactly it is, it may just be straight back. But you should be able to see in the video. So yeah, down here for two eight counts. So it'll just be here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and then on one, two, three, four, you're gonna slowly turn your head to the front. So you finish your Toya, Toya is back here, just turns his head backwards, like this. Okay. By right, turning your head to the front for one, two, three, four, and then on five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna come upright. And you're gonna drag the leg that you have on. Well, this applies for Akita, I think Toya is dragging the other leg. But so you're gonna drag the leg towards you for five, six, seven, eight, so that you're back in a standing motion. And it's like you're getting ready to move to the side over here. So all together, that will be five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be just stepping. So if you're doing it with two people, you're gonna step towards out so that you can both be shared in center. So it'll be more just continuing stepping out, but since I'm doing it by myself, I'll step and then I'll still do the steps, so I'm gonna just be doing it. In place, so I'll move back to where center is on here. So you have five, six, seven, eight. You're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So this whole time, you're just walking. So you're just one, two, three, four, five, six. So on one, two, three, four, you should be taking like two steps out since. You either go this way or this way, so it's taking a step this way, a step out, then you take a step to place your left, right leg down before the next trap. So that's on the one, on the one, two, that will be your right, three, four, left, five, six, right, on and you're gonna prep your hand, so you're gonna lift up your left leg and then your right. Hands in the counter to your left shoulder. The end and palms open on here. 
the end seven. So on seven, you step down with your left hand and you look towards the left. Okay. So that's the only color thing. Just gonna catch the end seven and then eight. There's a pause before we go on to the next move. Okay. Okay. Things pick up. So let's do that eight count just one more time to go through it. Then we'll continue on and then come back. Come back to combine stuff. So it'll be easier like that before we move on. The five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. All right. Now for the next part. I think the good thing is if you look at the video, both of them, at least the arms, detail, some of them closes, one closes, one opens. So I'm not sure what the exact detail is. So you guys can sync up with that. But then there's some arms that we clarify to be open. If I don't clarify as much, you can like do whatever feels comfortable. I'm right here on five, six, and seven, eight. I'm gonna show the arms first. So you have your right arm out here. You're gonna go one, two. So you're gonna just swing the arm back here for one, two, and then three, you just place them down. At least get them from being sideways to being next to you. So it'll be three on end, you twirl them once in here. So it goes end, four, end. So and you twirl them in, four, you shoot them out. I don't think they have to be as big, but kind of halfway around this area. So it'll be four, you're gonna shoot out, come back into center, and then shoot in instead of going straight out. So it'll be like four E end. So that's one, two, three, and four, eight, and, and then I'm gonna, let me add the legs here since from here might be better to also add legs. So, okay. And seven, eight, on one, as you bring your arms back, you kind of, you're lifting up your left leg, but then at the same time, since you don't want to shift your position to be off where you are, you got to pick up your right leg to jump towards center so that you don't end up shifting this way and so it will stay in place for here. Yeah, so this will be one, two, three, and four, eight, and so. So we have one, two, leg still stays up here for one, two, and you're gonna step on three and four E and five. The legs are confusing. I think sometimes I may do like three and four E and since I wanna step at the same time as the hands, but the legs are pretty much stepping on each count, except two. So you're like one, two, three, four, five. On here. So it takes some time to get used to it, also still getting used to it. But yeah, let's do that one more time, then move on to finish this eight counts so that we can practice them together. So the moves again are five, six, seven, eight, one, we swing backwards, so one, two, three, we step in here, then and to our hands, three and then four E and five. On five, you're gonna, actually no, on five, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So you do three and four E and five, you just step back, hands don't move. On six, that's when your hands hit on here, be six, seven. So they'll hit and then reload on you. So be five, six, seven, and then on eight, you're gonna take hands removing this way. You're gonna take the hands and then make clapping. You can actually clap if you want. I end up not clapping. But it doesn't matter. As long as you're facing this way. Since I'm doing this whole time, you've been facing the front. And on the last second, you turn to face 
all the way to the side, even your head turns to face to the side. And that's the end of the count. And this happens on five, six, six, seven, eight. But yeah, let's try that out with, let's try all those eight counts. And then we'll move, yeah, we'll move on. Let's just, I will get the moves down and then we'll do everything all together with counts after. So we'll start from having be on this pose. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. And now five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This takes some time to get used to. I'm not even completely used to it. Probably by the time from the full practice version, I'll keep practicing this. But once you practice enough, it should be almost like second nature. So let's move on for now, and then we'll come back. You can come back and practice this, so use the part one with count version. So we just ended here on eight, on one. You're gonna slide forward, and at the same time, clap your hands down. It's gonna go one, two. So you have like one, two to the slide. The hands have to go hit down and then come back up. So like one, two. It's like you reboot and then your hands J stay relatively in this area. It's like ah. they can move a bit since the song's pretty fast, so you can continue moving them before you go into the next one. And then the legs are just sliding forward. I think both of them slide forward. Yeah. So that's one, two. I'm gonna go three and four and uh, five. So your hands are going three and four and up. Uh. So three, they alternate. So you have right now you have your right hand down, left hand up on the end, left hand comes down. And then four, where it comes on your side. So you're gonna be one, two, three. Sorry, I keep forgetting to bring this arm up, and I think it's more to the east side. So it's three and four and up. So on three, you step down here, and then on end, as you bring your left hand down, your right leg comes up. Here for you to step down again and four. So that's three. So three and four. And then on the end of your hand and your body goes to the right side on the end and then on they shift back to the center. So it's like and that. And then they could go on like four and a five. Five, six, seven, and eight. So, I'll explain that part in a bit, but let's do this full count one more time and then move on. Yeah, start from here, we'll start from here. So, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and then five, five. So, I do three and four. No, I think you can keep this arm sideways since you still, you can use this move to turn forward. From brown. We will see. I will correct it since I'm gonna watch, probably gonna watch this and confirm. Imagine if I'm wrong. But, so if you do three and four, end up, you kind of center, you know, end up. Five, you know, switch to the side. So if it will be a hit, go five, and then six, you're gonna come up. So be five, six, seven, and you'll use this hand. Do a prep move to have it to the side. So you're gonna go and and then eight, you're gonna spin on your left leg. So it's seven and eight. And then one, there's a drop down. There might not be a hand. I'm used to doing a hand since so you can add your own flavor. So let's try that eight count. We end it here. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three and four, and a five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, 
Let us point out here. We need to seven and eight. One. When they finish that turn, they all land going down. You can have. I don't think they're both doing the same hands. I think they just have their hands by them. Okay. Right now, for some reason I like pointing down. So you can check. I always, I always like the video I'm following on this. It's they're more accurate than me on here. Sometimes I miss stuff that I notice after a film. Or uh, like a while after if I look at the dance, I'm like, I didn't teach this properly. But just on one, there's a drop in. So we want two. Two, you'll come back up. So after you come up, one, two, you're gonna go three. Step out with your right leg. I believe right's over left since you spawn it this way to the side that you're stepping. So this will be three. And then on four, you step in and this spin is still continuing. Since on five, you're gonna land. Now with your right hand up. I think I said right twice. First with left hand at the top, second with right hand, right hand at the top. This is one, two, three, four, five. And then six, you can drop them to your side. So all together, so we do, I'll start from the seven and eight, since that spin is super important. So I'll just start from having my hand out here. Five, six, Seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's finish this up. I think there's just one move that still transitions to the next part, next eight count. So here on six, the hands are gonna go and they will shoot up for a bit. I think the close fist, this is what I meant by the arms are not consistent in some moves. So right now I'm keeping everything close fist and I think the next move I'm gonna have it open fist but so far things are close fist for these this count. So you have six and you're gonna raise your hands a bit on end and then you're gonna slide seven eight. So you're gonna place both hands down, palms facing down and you're gonna slide your left leg to the back. So it'll be seven eight and, uh, and then this is gonna go into the next move. So, let's do that 8 count and then we'll do the last 8 count and then review everything from the beginning before we go into the versus solos on there. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna start like from seven. so yes, guys get used to the spin. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, eight, and that. So you have, yeah, this slide, after you do six, and you have one count for seven, and then you're gonna do like a ball change, which is basically, for those who haven't done it as much, and some people might be new, I would advise a different song if you're new. Or you just don't know the name of the moves on it. So you five, and six, and, Seven, right now we want to basically switch our left leg to be in front. So we're going to step our left down for seven and then eight and up. So basically step left, then we step our right to the back here and then now we have our weight on the left. So it's like a way to switch in here. This dance does have a couple of, at least this section, specifically has a couple of those not the whole dance, I think even the next section has some moves that are like that so you just get used to it on there but since you have the slide of 7 and then you do 8 and then and this goes into the next move here okay, let's finish that, let's finish this up and then we can practice everything all together so the steps are 8 and 1 I just add the 8 and that to Make sure to lift the, lift the leg before I step on it. So yeah, each and one, we're gonna step our left leg as we finish that ball change. Step our left leg down and then at the same time, I think our body is leaning, our facing towards the left side. Like left, 
Not exactly 45, almost close to 90, but not quite. On me, we're like in the middle of it. Like 60 degrees. So we're gonna one. So we're gonna do one, and then we're gonna do the same thing we did, but not using uh, right, right leg foot. So we get one, and do two and a. Okay, two and a. Three. Okay, so this whole move, it's very explaining still. So we get eight, eight and a one, two and a three. I think with the practice, it'll make sense, but the general moves is you step here, then you do another ball change, and you step basically the opposite way. Okay, so it's eight and a one, two and a three, and then the sequence of moves, it hits each of the music notes you hear there. So your hands are gonna go one and two and so eight and a one, two and a three, and a four and. So you shoot, so you hear three, you're gonna basically lift your leg both sides, I think, so yeah, three and a four. Yeah, to help you since we are facing the wrong way. So to be able to lift this and look straight, you gotta lift your left leg. So lift left leg, left arm. Then as you drop your left arm, you lift your right arm here. And then you bring it down. So this is on the three and up. So the leg more comes down two, three, and five. It's like three, and five. The timing is weird, since I feel like it comes down the same time your right hand comes down. Okay, by the three, and up, four, your head turns. Okay, on four. So I think both of them are turning this way. If not, it should say mirrored, so you tell me, turn it that way. Right, okay, three and up, four, facing that way, and when I finish this off, I think they're doing different stuff since Akito is preparing for his part in the verse, since both of them have a section in the verse, which I'll teach both on them. Right, and three and a four, five, we're just gonna look forward. Okay, I, I am messing up the count since the head turns on the back. Look at the practice. The practice, you will hear the music. I know where to hit it with the music. This is the problem with like always using counts. It's that sometimes it works the music. Like works in the music because I think the head has here four and four and and then five there's nothing here six you look for it so we four and five six and then you start walking here I think actually starts with his left leg so they go six and seven and eight and so basically I don't know what he's doing the first time so you. Walk, hit your fingers forward or up. This was like just a crap move, it just looks like him being cool. Hit okay. six and seven. You take another step here and seven. No, six yeah. and seven. And you lift up your hands up as high as you can. Seven and then eight. You drop them here with your left hand in front of the E, and then it's gonna go into the solo parts on there. Alright, future Sydney is here. After filming the practice part one version, the very last moves we do, I'm doing the counts off. So I'm gonna just have the correct counts here, but none of the explanations I did. At least match those counts. The moves are still the same. Since we're here, 
four and five, six, we're gonna just loop forward. We actually start walking on seven. And not on the six, I think I did six and. It'll be actually seven and do some hand move here. Seven and eight and one. And then that goes right into Akito's part. Might be different for Yuta, so this part may not matter as much to lift the hands. I want to see Akito. So the hands go up on eight and. I think I was doing on seven and like a count earlier. But yeah, apart from that, everything should be good, hopefully. Uh, back to present Sydney. So, let us try that eight count, and then I'm gonna go back to the beginning and just count everything, and then we'll move on to the verse part, where I'll do Akira's part, then Yuta's part, and that will be the end of part one. And then part two will be, that will be fun, that will be fun. We're gonna start again from the seven for the previous count, which was this slide. So it's the moves go into each other. I might have also explained the leg wrong since, yeah. This part is fine. It's just when to lift here. Since I think this lifts by itself, and then as you lift this hand and drop here, your legs both, yeah, left leg and right arm move together. So then, and for end. Or your leg is more ambiguous. But I think they should both move together. But let's start from here into this whole part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, and three, and four, and a five. Six and seven and eight and. All right, let's try everything from the beginning and then we'll move on to the second part, first part. So, starting from the end, I'm gonna do the two counts where nothing's happening and then into the music. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and a five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, eight, and a one, two, and a three, and four, and a five, six, and seven, and eight. And with how hard the tutorial is, it's before usually I wanted to do minute of choreo. For this song, it might be a bit too fast. So I'm going to split it in three parts and then teach the second the verse and the pre-chorus together and teach the last dance break all together to try and make it into smaller bites you can ingest on that. So yeah, instead of moving on, we're gonna end there and then we'll get into the verse part next time. That also gives me time to clean said verses part because this part, if I'm doing, if I do both Akito and Yuta, there's a part where they do a leg switch. I need to... It's weird when you switch over, that's why I'm trying to keep to one person, but then doing the verse, if they're not dancing, they're just doing poses. There. But yeah. Alright, so yeah, we'll end the video here. So, thank you all for coming to dance with me. Hopefully it's been fun and hopefully yeah hopefully you all had fun I had fun doing this on here and I'm hoping you all come back again I'm gonna let you all go and just chillax stretch and enjoy life and yeah I'll see you all later come back next time bye bye see ya